All right, continuing with the uh, the Mel's Grio here. Um, I've discovered that uh, the um, power that comes out the connector here is just raw battery through a, a steering diode. So there's a there's a diode here. Um, so you get you get the full battery voltage minus a diode drop on the on this connector here, plus or minus six volts. Um, all of the circuit up here, the, the 317, 337s, this is the charging circuit. So there's AC coming in, the AC gets split up into plus and minus, and then goes into charging circuits that charge the batteries, and that's why they have to have the steering uh, diode in there and stuff. But I did find one interesting thing here. So if you've ever, ever working on something, can you hear that? Um, you're going to find interesting things. So you, know, you can you can go through and you can say, you know, something, uh, something making connection with something else, right? And uh, like these are connected. And then I said, okay, well, here is where the battery uh, connects. Okay. And it goes to this, wait a minute, it goes to that connector right there. It's the battery thing. And, it, it, and then you go on the top here. This thing is just, it's so... It, it, there was so much battery corrosion, it just kind of ate away the, the metal. And so if that wasn't bad enough, then even coming in here, the uh, that's metal, and then the grommet inside the metal doesn't even make contact. So so the the little the little plate to grommet that doesn't make connection, and then the plate to the PC board that doesn't make connection. So yeah, it's all messed up there. All right, so I'm not too worried about the power supply section. I can always reinvent the wheel or just use a power supply, which is probably what I'm going to end up doing. But uh, I do like this part of the circuit, okay? So I'm going to use this. Uh, the display's dead, so I've been trying to troubleshoot the display. And uh, what I've discovered is um, uh, this, this was the board that, that went up here, and then there was a connector here. I unsighted a connector because I'm going to reuse, it, reuse this. I'm going to make my own PC board. And uh, as it, as you wonder, why are there so many why are there so many connectors just to go to a voltmeter on the front panel? Well, it has to do with that um, with that decimal point thing. So the circuit uh, has. 222, uh, 222, 222, but milliamps, microamps, and nanoamps. So this connector has logic level signals, and there's a logic level signal that comes true when you're on the milliamp range, one pin that comes true on the microamp range, and one pin that comes true on the nanoamp range. There's another pin that's true whenever you're at a 200, either that 200, that 200, or that 200. There's a pin on here that's true if you're on the 20s, and there's a pin on there that's true if you're on the 2s. And then one of the pins is ground, one of the pins is VCC, and one of the pins is voltage from the board up to the, the display. And it doesn't match the voltage on the front panel. It's some weird divided down multiple of the thing. So I don't know why, but it's some weird voltage. I'll probably bypass that and just put the regular voltage through it. But okay, so uh, <clears throat> let's go take a look at. Uh, we'll go into into the office and I'll show you. Um, I'll show you a little bit more about this circuit and what I'm doing about replacing the uh, display. So. Um, I started to reverse engineer the board. Um, like I said, it's a uh, trans impedance amplifier. Uh, and so th this is the input. It goes into the trans impedance. It has a buffer on the output because it needs to supply plus or minus um, 200 milliamps. So that's what this does here. Oddly enough, these are these are Darlingtons. These two transistors are Darlingtons and they drive another transistor. So it's like a triple Darlington. Um, and then there's a bunch, this is the switch in the front panel and you switch in and out a bunch of resistors and, and, uh, band limiting capacitors and stuff for the circuit. Anyway, that is the circuit. It, I haven't quite 
done it entirely, but it's close enough for me to figure out what was going on. There's an output section here. It's 51 ohms to the output world. Um, there's a couple of potentiometers, one on the front panel for offset. There's another one, I think this is gain for the driving the display. I'm not quite sure about that. Not that it matters. There's a power section here where the connection goes off to that battery board, comes in, there's a switch, what they switch both sides of it. There's some protection diodes, some filtering stuff. Uh, there's a really weird circuit that I haven't looked at quite entirely, which is the, it detects, the, the, there's some precision diodes in there, uh, 1.2 volts and then 2.5 volts. So I think it's doing some type of range thing. And I don't know if that has to do with the decimal place or not, but anyway, a lot of weird stuff going on in there. Um, but this is what I care about. This is really the magic right here. Okay. All right, so that's that 14 pin connector that goes to the front panel, plus V minus V, which is around four volts. It's kind of, it's not even quite four volts. It gets regulated in a weird way, but anyway, it's logic level stuff. And then here are those pins. So there's one pin that says, uh, do you have a gain of two? Do you have a gain? Oh, I don't have it on, on this particular schematic here. I'll show you a different one. Do you have a gain of two? Do you have a gain of 20 or or? or 200, and then the milliamp range, nanoamp range, and the microamp range. Um, uh, but let me show you another schematic that does have those things marked out correctly. All right, uh, here they are. Uh, this is what I'm gonna be, so this is the board I'm gonna be replacing the front panel with, uh, the display board. So here's all the all the things. Gain of two, 20, and 200, and then uh, nanoamps, microamps, and milliamps. And then uh, pin 10 is the voltage that goes, is, is to be displayed, okay? All right, so I'm going to replace that circuit on the front panel with this, which is a microcontroller, uh, tiny, AT tiny, 3224. So I'm just gonna bring in all those pins so I can read the gains and the ranges. Uh, I'm gonna reserve one pin for programming and then the voltage is going to come in here to pin 11 and go into an ADD. And that ADD will then detect the voltage. And then uh, there'll be a serial uh, I squared C, a serial interface to an OLED display. So easy, easy peasy. Uh, so let's see here. All right. So this is what I came up with. Let me turn off the back panel there. All right, so there's going to be an OLED display in the middle here. Here is that 14-pin uh, connector. Um, and then here's my microprocessor with some bypass capacitors, my uh, pull-ups on my I squared C lines. And uh, yeah, that's all there is to it. I can turn on the back here. These are just copper pores. Let's do a, a 3D, 3D viewer. So it'll look, it'll look something like this. Um, uh, these little microprocessors are great. Not have to do anything else with them. No crystal, no nothing needed. They just go. Um, and then on the back side will be the uh, where the actual display is, um, and that will poke through the hole in the front panel. And I'll probably three D print a little bezel around it to make it look pretty. But yeah, I think that is that is what I'm going to do. God, I love these parts. Just these little parts just can do all kinds of stuff with them. They're nice. All right. Uh, so I think it's uh, getting pretty close to sending it out. Um, and uh, give it a try. We can always have to do it over again if we have to.